Before running the simulation, the software is in layout mode and the EME analysis window is blank. Once the cell modes have been calculated, the EME analysis window becomes active and is populated with various options. The Find Modes step, which happens when you click the Run button, has calculated the modes for each cell and the overlaps between modes in neighboring cells. Now you can inject the mode from the input port and determine how the fields propagate through the device. To visualize the fields and the refractive index profile, add an EME profile monitor and EME index monitor. You can also add these monitors before finding the modes. Use the EME Propagate button to calculate how the fields propagate through the device. A red marker on an object's icon will show that results are available. Right-click on the monitors to view the field profile and the index profile. To see the conversion efficiency of the entire device, visualize the user S matrix result from the EME object and plot the absolute value squared. Using the View Data button, we can see the values of the user S matrix. Row 2, column 1, shows the absolute value squared of S21, which is the conversion efficiency. If you want to obtain the results for a device with modified length, you do not need to modify the structures and redo the whole simulation. Just modify the group span of the corresponding device section and repeat the propagate step. I'll increase group span 2 to 100 microns and propagate again. If I plot the updated user S matrix, I can see that the conversion efficiency has increased. To easily obtain the S matrix parameters as a function of device length, use the built-in propagation sweep tool, rather than manually changing the group spans for each value. Click the checkbox to enable the propagation sweep feature. Set the parameter to group span 2 to sweep the taper length, and set start and stop to 10 to 200 microns with 201 points in the sweep. Then click EME sweep. Note that this is fast, since the modes and overlaps have already been calculated and do not need to be repeated. Once the sweep is done, click the Visualize EME Sweep button and view the absolute value of S21 squared versus the span to get the conversion efficiency as a function of taper length. What the plot tells us is that we need the taper to be at least 200 microns long to achieve nearly 100% conversion efficiency, from the small silicon waveguide mode to a much larger spot on the SION output waveguide.